Hey, Tracy. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Oh, no problem. You got those supplies? Girl, that's why I was late. I was on my way here, and your lovely shampoo technician decided to call me to pick up some things. Yeah. Tracy, you need to have a long talk with Hal. I mean, he has yet to come here on time, and then I swear you think he owns this shop the way he prances around. <laughs> Child, I am late again. They ought to be used to it by now, because I'm always late. Now, what was we talking about? Oh, yeah, you ain't got to argue with them payday loan folks. You better do like I did. Quit your job and start working at the neighborhood beauty shop. That way they can't trace your cash. <laughs> did you see Real Housewives last night? Honey, that Nene is a mess. Did she trade noses with Jay-Z or what? I bet you she can smell the weather for a week. <laughs> yes, you know what I mean. <laughs> I got the supplies you asked for. Ooh, what happened? I'm getting ready to tell you. What were those gross things your auntie cooked for Thanksgiving? Chitlins, right. Well, a whole bucket of it just hit me in the face a few seconds ago. Sydney. Uh-huh, the unclean ones in the red bucket. <laughs> Ooh, chop. <laughs> what? Did you know they make lace front mustaches? <laughs> This boy got the whole goatee on, looking like a little billy goat. <laughs> you got to see this picture. Hold on. Smile, little boy. <laughs> I'm going to send you this picture. Post it on Twitter, and we'll talk about it later. All right. All right, little man. Let's go through the supplies and make sure you got everything I need. OK. Hold on. Let me get a ventilation system. <laughs> All right, boo, on the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, I got the setting lotion. Ooh. I got the rat tail combs. Hurry up. And I got the gel. Ooh. Oh, and the shampoo. Oh, did you say shampoo? I said shampoo. Oof. Weave and gel. Oh, oh, mouthwash. Child, I didn't never think you're going to get to that one. This is for you. Break that seal and drink the whole bottle before you kill somebody. I'll take this. Go. Oh. Good morning, everybody. Oh, morning. Hey, Tracy, Tracy. Remember that purse I told you I wanted? Ew. <laughs> Looks like somebody went to the mall before work. Girl, what can I say? James was in a very good mood this mm. morning. We can start by saying he's married, <laughs> and it's wrong for you to be messing around with Sydney, him. Sydney, do not start with me this morning, all right? I done already told you that everybody has their preference. And besides, me and James are very discreet with our relationship anyway. Oh, yeah. Going to the shopping mall with another woman's husband? That's very discreet. Out of all the men in Chicago, why a married man? Why not a married man, Sydney? I mean, you know what, Tracy? You can attest to this, Ooh, right? You me. marry? I mean, girl, come on now. Y'all do all the work. I mean, you groom them and you train them. That way, when they get with me, get what I want, give them a little bit of what they need, and send them on their way. Ooh. No commitments and no strings attached. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, but don't worry, Tracy. You know, I don't, uh, I don't do co-workers' husbands, so you cool. Ooh. No, I'm cool, because I'm pretty sure you don't want to lose your job or your hair. You know, they have names for women like you. Uh, my grandma used to call them the cleaner woman. No, that's too classy for you. I think the young people are calling them jump off. Uh, they call me a mistress, Sydney. Okay, it's a mistress. Oh, I was thinking that you were more of a prostitute. Uh, I mean, you dress like them. Uh, just the woman I was looking for. Ooh, my husband. <laughs> mm -hmm. You are going to make me forget the reason I came down here. Mm -hmm. You remember where we went last week, right? Yes, we went to the doctor's office to get the ultrasound. Why? So what? So what? That's all you have to say? That was our baby's first picture. Baby? It was an ultrasound. Which, yes, it told us we were having a little girl. And that's very special. Mm -hmm. And we're going to name her <laughs> Jasmine. Exactly why I went down and got this. <gasps> I want everybody to see our baby. And I got her name oh. inscribed on it. Right, yeah. It, um, wow. <laughs> it's big. It, you, you photocopied our ultrasound. And mm -hmm. it's, it's really big. Mm -hmm. Look. And this is yours for the shop, and I got three more for the house. Three more? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? Just for that proud papa face, I am going to hang this. I'm going to hang it where everyone can see it. That's right. I am proud. 
<laughs> this is our eight year of marriage, and I want to savor every minute of it. Mm. So, I yes. am going to need you to be very, very careful. What? <laughs> I got this. Have a seat. Mm. So we don't hurt our baby girl, Jasmine. Okay, so now you're going to be the overprotective father? I am not going to be overprotective. I'm going to give Jasmine her, her freedom, her oh, room to, to yeah. grow, as long as she stays in the house and does it for the first 25 years of her life. Yeah, there it is, baby. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey. I wanted to bring your baby shower gifts early. Uh, Michelle, it's never too early. Wait, I hope this doesn't mean you're not coming. Please. Come on. <laughs> She's coming. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I've been knowing her since um, third grade, jumping rope, and now we doing hair, hair together. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I was the one that hooked you two up together. Yeah, I know. And now that you and my best friend are dating, consider that your payback. <laughs> so, what do you think about it? Mm. Oh, it's wonderful. You know, that would look good above my fireplace. Yes, it would. Okay, I give up. Uh, what is it? What is it? What kind of godmother are you that you can't recognize your own godchild? It's obvious that Jasmine is looking just like me. Look, here's her mouth and her cute little bitty nose and... Uh-oh. What? What's wrong? Well, it looks like we're gonna have to start monitoring her carb intake. We don't want her hips spreading like her mother's side of the family. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you're right. Oh, that's funny. But, uh-oh. Because, uh did, did you really look close? Look, you see it, right? Yeah, no, I do. But, oh... We might need to monitor her water intake, too, because if I recall, it's your mama who's got the big swollen ankles. Don't talk about my mother. You know that's a condition. <laughs> oh, baby, come on. I'm just playing with you. You know I love your mama. <laughs> Stop being sensitive. Mm -hmm. Aren't you supposed to have a therapy session with my man today? Yep, he's coming over to the house. Speaking of, I better hurry up and get out of here. Oh, wait, uh, um, mm -hmm. And also, did you grab the blankets out of the garage? I want to make sure mom and daddy are comfortable. Already taken care of. Thank and you. Oh, what about your brother? Is he coming up as well? You, I mean, so he says, but you know how he is with work. It's all about his job. Well, the way the economy is going right now, it's a good thing he has a job. Hey, yeah. and do not forget to practice your breathing. Okay? Baby. No, 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 no. Come on, do it with me. Come on. Ready? <sighs> Deep, come, no, no, one more time. I'll talk to you later, baby, all right? I love you. I love Breathe. you. Breathe. Breathing. Breathe. Breathing. Breathe. Breathe. We're breathing together. Bye, baby. Bye. Go. Oh. <laughs> He's going to be the perfect father. He's like, oh. You know what? I think so, actually. I do. I mean, he's a little over the top, as you can see. Oh. But, girl, what can I say? That's my husband. You know, I actually thought he was going to fall apart when I told him about the baby. You know. Now that he's not playing ball anymore. What did the doctor say about his knee? Girl, I mean, they said it was a career-ending injury, you know? But you know how Devin is? He's really positive, and he's not going to take any of that, so he's just working out like he's still going to play. <laughs> Can you blame him? Girl, you had it all. You had the big house, mm -hmm. the money, the cars, the fame. Oof. Girl. Oh. You, as a woman, had the ideal life with the ideal husband and seemingly losing everything, it's gotta be tough on any couple. No, I mean, it is, but, you know, our marriage isn't built on any of that stuff. That's just stuff. You know, but who would have expected him to get injured like that, right? And, and who would have expected the IRS to clean us out the way that they did? I'm... Yeah. Yeah. Well, on a different note, so I heard Reggie might be coming over today. Your brother? Yeah, <laughs> well, so he says. You know how he is, though. He gets so wrapped up in his job, he didn't have time for himself. Well, maybe he might, you know, come and spend a little time with you because you're his little sister. He wants to come see the baby at the baby shower. Uh-huh, or maybe he might have a little time for you, his old sweetheart. Is that what you're saying? Okay, Tracy, uh, don't start. Girl, that was a long time ago. But it was a good thought, right? You could have been my sister-in-law <laughs> instead of my coworker. Yeah. That'd have been nice. That would have been a good thought. Oh, but you know what? Mm -hmm. I like Roger. You're with Roger now. Yeah. That's close enough. Mm -hmm. Roger, he's, he's good. He's a good man. You know, yeah. he has all the right attributes. Girl, mm -hmm. he's handsome. Ooh, check. He's a hard worker. Mm. And check. most importantly, he spoils me. Ooh, check, check, <laughs> cha-ching. That is true. He does spoil you. You know, I 
think he has something to ask me today. He might ask me the question that every woman wants to hear. <laughs> Damn, damn, check it out. You feel that? Huh? You fixed it all. Who's the best handyman slash barber you. you know? You know you are. On the south side of Chicago. The south side and any side. That's right. That's right. <laughs> what? Wow, look at that. Devin brought this in. I, I could see. Tell your husband that the baby looks just like him. You cannot actually tell. Obviously, I can. It's quite obvious. Obvious is more than coke in that cup you got. Ooh. What? <laughs> Listen. Some people need orange juice, and some people need coffee. What I got in this cup helps me to become one with my clippers. Well, you probably should tell the clippers that, because they seem to have a mind no. of their own. Shh, don't no. start. No. Don't, don't shush me. I'm going to say what you're afraid to say. Sydney, now, I have yet to see anybody sit in his chair and get what they asked for. That's a lot. Oh, yeah? Yes. What did Mr. Johnson ask for last hmm? week? Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Mm -hmm. Mr. Johnson wanted me to line his beard up. Exactly. And that's what I did. Child, the man looked like Hitler as we speak. <laughs> you ask this man for a ball fade, you get a jerry curl. You ask him for a taper, hey, ain't this supposed to be a fro? Okay, I mean, you know what, Sydney, that's good. Okay, Rachel, honey, can you come out here for a second? So, salon business, um, I hung a little schedule in the back stating who's opening and closing, so... Uh, take a look, and if you're opening, please be on time. Of course. Yes, Sydney, please be on time. No, he didn't just try to bust me out. Okay, I'll promise to be on time if you promise to do something for me. And what is that? Start avoiding words that begin with the letter H. Sydney, would you leave her alone? Come shut on up. Now. I am going to say what you are afraid Ooh, to say. Shut up. Dear. Your hellos smell like weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> Poor little baby. You haven't noticed when people talk to you face to face, they bat their eyes real fast. It's because it burns. <laughs> you know what? I got a better idea. It will do our relationship some good if you start communicating with me in sign language. Uh, you know what, Sydney? Come on now. I, I done stood here and watched you ridicule everybody in this room. Now, enough is enough. Stood? You stood? Well, it's the first time for everything, because you're normally on your back. You know what? Say one more thing, man. I'm going to forget you a man. You put your paws on me, I'm going to forget you a man. Oh, you think you bad, don't I you? Am. You know, you ain't the best shampoo tech yes, up in here. Yes, I am. You know, I'm tricking. No, you tr Oh, yes, I am. Tracy. Yeah. Look, last week, this lady came up in here, and all she wanted was a shampoo. Sat in his chair, and this fool went on ahead and soaked this lady for the water. Now, ask him how he do that. Well, yes, she did. But as musty as she was, you would have thought she could appreciate a good bath. As a matter of fact, you could use a hose down yourself. You know what? That's enough. You ain't gonna I say one more it. thing to me. I what you want? Hey, 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 wait. Okay, when you two are finished, can I just remind you that I need you at my house on Friday to help with the decorations? Okay? There'll be plenty of food for your efforts. I'll be there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you put our names on our plates? Because I would hate for her to try to steal my meat. I don't want your meat. Oh. <gasps> Marvin. Oh, man. Oh, Can't no. believe it, man. I knew I shouldn't have used oh, that duct tape. Oh. Oh. I should have used the hangers. What? Oh. So how much is it for a shampoo? <laughs> well, for you, it's on the house. I like that. Mm. <laughs> I know if I held on long enough, you'll eventually give in. <laughs> so where's everyone at? Oh, they're in the back. Oh, you yeah. just missed Devin. Mm -hmm. Aren't you supposed to have a therapy session with him today? Yeah, but that's not until later. Finished with the client early, and I decided to come back and see my baby. Mm, that's so sweet, <laughs> Roger. <laughs> oh, um, before I forget, I got you this brown tie to go with your brown suit. Oh, uh, uh, for what? For church Sunday. You said you was going to go with me. Come on, Michelle, you know I don't do ties anymore. Okay, well, we can lose the tie. But can you wear that brown suit I like to see you in? And you know how I feel about going to church. 
Okay, you know how I feel about you not going to church. Yes, I do. But before I met you, you wasn't going to church yourself. As a matter of fact, we was introduced in the club, remember? Now I feel like you're trying to shove something down my throat that I have my questions about. So you question God? I don't question the existence of God. It's just as many religions out there. And who's to say that the one that you pick is the right one or the one that anybody else pick is the right one? Baby, it's just I don't try to change you, so please do not try and change me, all right? Now, the real question should be, do I treat you right? Yes. And do you know that I love you? <laughs> yes. Then, baby, that's all that matters. But I guess I can go with you on Sunday and I'll wear the suit that you like, all right? Nah. But I'm not wearing that tie. Okay? <laughs> I'm going, baby. I love you. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I may be shorter than you, but I'm faster hey, than you. Hey, come on, man. That was pure luck. That's <laughs> it. I think I'm ready to increase my reps. Come on, Devin. Slow down, man. It's not your regular old injury that you can just ice down and then you heal from it. You tore your ACL, meaning you have numerous ligament tears, shredded ligament, a damaged cartilage, plus a dislocated kneecap. Should I go on? I know what it's called, but others have recovered, and with the help of God, I will too. <laughs> Don't sweat all over my table. <laughs> the help of God. Mm. You know who you sound like? No, who? Michelle. Now, I'm serious, man. Ever since she started this little church journey, it's like we can't have a decent conversation without her bringing up God. So when she talked like that, man, I just shut up and I don't say a word. You know who you sound like, don't you? Nah, who? The devil. <laughs> shut up, man. Why you clam up when she talk about God? Come on, Devin, I don't have a problem with her talking about God. But I do have a problem with her picking one guy out of the many religions and making that the ultimate choice for all. Well, it sounds like you two got something to work out before you even think about getting married or having kids. What is that to work out? I mean, she can serve her God without incident but she has to respect the God that I choose to worship, if any. <laughs> You're serious, aren't you? I'm dead serious. Who ever said anything about marriage in the first place? Well, why not? You two have been dating for a while. It doesn't seem like you're going anywhere. Devin, stop acting like you just met me. Now, why would I want to put a title on it if she loved me and I love her? Because that should just conquer it all, right? Well, you just said it perfectly. If you love her like you say you do, then you won't just say it with your mouth. You'll get married to her and say it with your heart as well. You want her to commit to you like she's married, don't you? I mean, I, I, I thought about it. You know, I ain't gonna lie, I thought about springing a question on her. I thought about it. Really? When? Hey, I said I thought about it. You always trying to <laughs> See, push something. I know something. you, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know, man. For some strange reason, just watching you and Tracy, you know, it kind of inspired me to want to get things right. Yeah, how's that? I don't know. I guess it's the way you talk about her. You know, it's not ordinary, man. Hmm. That's because she's not ordinary. That's why I decided to spend the rest of my life with her. And now she's giving me a baby girl. Ah, daddy, daddy, daddy. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't think men really understand what women go through to have babies. Explain. Well, lately, she's been a little whiny about feeling fat, and she gets moody and demanding. But I don't say anything, I just sit there and listen to it all. Why? Because for everything that she's about to go through, that's the least that I can do for her. All right, are you done with your little Dr. Phil moment? <laughs> no, I'm just playing with you, man. No, seriously, that's a good thing. I mean, there's not too many brothers out there like you, man, and you most definitely holding this little marriage thing down. You gotta be honest. Well, it's easy when you have a good woman. I knew you was gonna say well, that. Well, think about it, think about it. I went from being a millionaire mm -hmm. to having mansions, any car I wanted to drive, to losing the millions, the mansion, to sharing a car, to being unemployed. Here's a razor blade, Devin. For what? Kill yourself. Well, see, you just don't get it. <laughs> she stayed with me through all of that. As a matter of fact, she started working longer hours at the salon just to help us make ends meet. So, I'm not holding anything down. I appreciate my wife. And on that note, man, I'm going to go in and get out of here. But take care of that knee, okay? And don't try to increase on her reps, man. Okay, I'll talk to you later, man. I will. 
Pushing me. Oh, I'm glad you hit hey. me. Hey, there's a situation happened out there, man, and, and I want you to be the judge and jury. Remember that. I'm your favorite. Hey, Devin. Hey. How you doing? Sick Good to see you. you. You need to leave Devin out of this. Uh-huh, your coward. Hey, baby, look. Hey. look here. I allowed you to call me a lot of things, you dirty dog, but I refuse to stand here and allow you to call me a coward. And I did what I had to do to survive, Daniel. It was a charge in pit bull, Charles. There was no excuse for your actions. Listen to yourself, Daniel. It was a charge. Huh? Pitbull, you've seen them things on YouTube. You know what they're capable of. I analyzed the situation, and I came to one conclusion, one conclusion only, brother. Mm -hmm. You threw my lovely wife in front of that dog. Yeah. No excuse. Yeah. I tried to grab you and throw you in front of the dog. You know that. Vivian, Vivian, sweetheart, I'm... I'm trying to tell you it was an honest-to-God mistake. You walked right in the way, and I accidentally on purpose pushed you because the dog... And I felt bad when he gnawed and growled and bit you, Vivian. Can you forgive me? I'm sorry. I'm no. sorry, Vivian. No. Get on, Charles. Look here. What about your hubby here? Hmm? What about him? You always blaming me for everything. I took him to karate class so he could learn how to use this stroller. And what he do when that charging pit bull came, he catapulted himself on top of a car and just listened to you scream while that dog chewed you up. Vivian, what I tell you years ago, move this thing. Don't you touch. Don't, it's what not I tell you years ago, shut up, Daniel. You say something else. What I told you years ago. Don't touch me, child. You need to drop this zero and get yourself a heat. Drop this chicken dinner and get yourself a winner. You need a man <laughs> that can protect you. <laughs> sure now. <laughs> you keep on talking, Charles, and I'm putting one of these fires right in your mouth. <laughs> you gonna need somebody to protect you. Yeah. <laughs> From what, Daniel? From you? Look here, Spider-Man. Whenever you feel like you want to do something, come on over here and get you something, dear. Come on. Spider-Man. Maybe I owe my cigar for me. Oh, okay. Spider-Man. Get him. Get him. Well, let me tell you something. Tell me something. At least both of my legs is of equal length. Mm -hmm. Both of my legs is of equal length, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to stand up. You know what? I don't stand have, up! I don't have time to be playing the juvenile stand game. Up. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Ah, look at that. Swing low, sweet chariot. Go on, Crip Walk. Crip Walk. Go on, fool. <laughs> Crip Walk. You know what? This is, this is juvenile. Crip Walk, I said. <laughs> Sticks and stones may break. Do the James Brown. Hey, some of that. <laughs> you can't do that, can you? <laughs> do it on your legs. Go on. Yeah, you can't do it. Go on upstairs, you little crybaby. I'm nobody. Little crybaby. <laughs> you got him, According baby. to the volume, my family must be in this house. Hey, baby. Hey. <laughs> Mama, hey, honey. Baby. Hi, baby. Oh, you, you look so nice. Oh, look you. at you. Oh. You're so glowing. Daddy, why are you looking at me like that? If you get any prettier, you be your mother. Mm. And if you get any cornier, you'll be my brother. Oh, he's back, baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm hey, back. Uncle Charles. You How want you some doing? more food? Shut up, Vanilla Ice. Leave the room. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Daniel, as I was in my room crying, I realized something, brother. You call yourself trying to embarrass me, did you, old fool? Uncle <laughs> Charles. Why don't you just. Why don't you just go look for a job? Ain't you unemployed? Ciao. Leave him alone. Go! This between me and you. You're right, it is between me and you. You know what? I thought about something. We brothers, right? Ain't we? We supposed to be. You got secrets. Yeah, you got secrets that I know about. Charles. Yeah, yeah. Leave it alone. So, so how many pull-ups do you go through in a week, brother? <laughs> it's confidential. Make Charles. No, it ain't confidential. Give me here! I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get like, him. Like right about now, you need to be changed. <laughs> You doing it? We you done it. Charles, <laughs> Charles, it's not just a commercial; it's a product. It's no secret. You and Chuse. <laughs> yeah, you do. No, I, oh, please. I didn't have one of them since '83. We can see him. You're sagging. Yeah, you're sagging, Charles. <laughs> Charles. Charles. 
this is a sports jock. What's that you from, Charles? You're sagging. Pull him up, boy. Nothing. Sticks and stones, man. Oh, mushy butt. Let me feel it. Woo! 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 So have you talked to Rachel and Sydney? Uh, yeah. They said they'll be here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're the ones throwing you this shower. You shouldn't have to lift a finger. Oh. Just leave it to Sydney to be late. Oh, come on. I'm just throwing some materials out. Um, you know what? Can you grab that? I'm gonna grab some ribbon. Okay. Where have y'all been? Y'all supposed to be here an hour ago. Thanks to Missy here, I've been dressed and ready all day. Look, I'm sorry, all right? I've been waiting on James all day to come pick me up. What for? He was supposed to take me to go get my car from the shop, but I haven't heard from him all day. I hope he all right. Mm. Look at her. She just is young and dumb. What are you talking about, Sydney? Can't you see that man doesn't want you? He's married. He's not going to leave his wife for you. Whatever. Once he gets what he wants from you, he's done. Don't you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? He's not that into you. You know what? Blow your breath in the air and send her a smoke signal. He doesn't want you. You, you. you know what? Shut up, all right? I don't want him to leave his wife for me. I'm just trying to get him to pay a bill. Thank you. <laughs> and besides, there's not too many men that can deny this. Yes, there is. And his name is James. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Child, I had to drive my car over here. I thought your license plates were suspended. They are. Chat, that's what took us so long. I had to go through side streets and alleys all the way here. Ooh, <laughs> finally. Can you guys help me grab some stuff in the back? Oh, sure. Thank you. Um, but will you finish this? Yes. Thank Girl, you. Come on. Thank you. Come on. I'm so glad God didn't make me a balloon. I'd have walked off my job a long time ago. Here I come. Maybe the air is fresher in there. Michelle, oh, I wasn't expecting you to answer the door. But what a lovely surprise. Wow, it, it's been a long time, but you look great. Yes, thank you. I feel great. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, I'm good. I'm working with your sister at the shop. Oh, uh, yeah, she told me. She told me. So I heard about the divorce. Uh, sorry about that. It's okay. I'm better now than I was when I went in. But what about you? How you doing? You didn't get married on me yet, did you? <laughs> no, I'm single. Okay, okay. But I'm you know, dating someone, you know. Is it serious? Huh? Is it serious? Well, Reggie, oh! Sus. Oh, my God, you made How are you? It. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Oh, when did you get here? Got here about an hour ago. I got me a rental car. I came right That's over here after the airport, you know what I mean? Just wanted to see firsthand what my sister had going on. And I must say, you're doing good for yourself, sis. Oh, okay. Well, not as good as you, Mr. Banker, looking smooth. Mm-hmm. Excuse money, me. It's only money. <laughs> so, how are the folks? They're good. They're um, they're out at the store right now. You know they're kind of upset at you, right? Why? Because I haven't visited. Yes, Reggie. Their feelings are hurt. Hey, look. I know it's hard, but it's a part of life that you have to face eventually. You know. Uh, all right, all right. So have you eaten? No, I told you, I came straight here from the airport, straight to you. I still oh. have to go check in at a hotel. Hotel? You're not staying at a hotel. You're going to stay here. We got plenty uh, of sis, room. Sis, sis, I don't want to crowd you. I don't want to crowd you. <laughs> You're staying here. Look, I'll be very disappointed. Okay, okay. Stay okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I still see you used to getting your way, so yes. I'll give in this time. I'll yes. give in this time. This time. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Look, at like Look at you. Look at you. Seems like yesterday when I was screaming at you, telling you to get out of my room. Uh huh. And now you're about to make me an <laughs> uncle. <sighs> Funny thing is, I, th I thought I was gonna make you an aunt first. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> this is my stylist, Rachel, and, and this is Sydney. Oh, this is my doing? brother. How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I heard so much about you. <laughs> good things, I hope. Well, of course. Uh, Maybe we can get together later and I'll uh, tell you a few. <laughs> Excuse us, Reggie. Okay. You think he's married, don't you? Mm -hmm. Look again. He's single. 
Don't like him so much, dude. I got a, I got a good idea. I have a great idea. Why don't I take everybody out to lunch on Ooh. me? Okay. But you know what? <laughs> Thinking about it, I think it is you two that owe me lunch. What? Oh, don't get amnesia now. You need this, sis. Um, no. Actually, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> whatever. Mm -hmm. Sydney, yo, it's a game that we used to play a long time ago. What we did, we split it up. The girls versus the boys, and we chose a decade. <laughs> and we did the best dance of that decade. Okay. Of course, I Boy, did. Boy, that was so <laughs> long ago. <laughs> Who remembers that? I do. I do. If I could remember correctly, we was doing the 60s. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you picked James Brown, oh, and James nobody Brown. could compare to that. Uh, psh, oh, Michelle, <laughs> it wouldn't have matter what decade you chose. Ooh. Yeah, you know, you know how oh, I do. Okay, really? you still old cocky Reggie. Uh -huh. You tell me about it. <laughs> Y'all call it cockiness, I call it confident. Double or nothing. Ooh. Right now, double right. or nothing. Well, you know what? Okay. <laughs> you bad. You mm -hmm. pick the decade. Okay. Go ahead. We got a little posse right here. Okay, um, you know what? I got a better idea. Let's make it fair. Why don't we let Sydney choose the decade? Okay. All right. uh -oh. Let's see. Uh -oh. um, since your breath is always on 90, let's do uh -oh. the 90s. You know what? That didn't we matter. Got we got that. We got that. We got the 90s. Okay, oh, the 90s. Oh, yeah. The 90s. Uh, you don't want. Ooh. What? 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 Uh -huh. You don't want none of this. Uh -huh. What? What? Uh -huh. what? Uh -huh. Oh, 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 Michelle, Reg, um, <laughs> hey, we just finished working out, uh, so let me introduce you. This is my friend and Michelle's boyfriend, Roger. Hey, how you doing, man? What's up, man? man? you made it here safe. I'm good, man. Uh, okay. Yeah, how was the friend up there? <laughs> it was good, man. It was good. Okay. Okay. Get your flat first class? First class all the time, oh, man. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Tracy, can you show me where to put my bag? Uh, Yes, I'm so sorry. You know, you can follow me. Actually, everybody can follow me, and um, we'll do something back there in the back. Out, Sydney. Tracy, I'm gonna stay out here and finish up down here since I have a little help. Mm-hmm. This is about to be the best part. Wow, I didn't know you was gonna be over here. Oh, it just must have slipped my mind. Slipped your mind, huh? But did it slip your mind that your ex-boyfriend would be here as well? Who, Reggie? Uh, he's just an old high school crush, baby. You don't have anything to worry about. Shell, it's not you that I'm worried about. It's him. You may not be into him, but I'm pretty sure he's still into you. Okay, I'll give you that, but I'm not asking you to trust him. Look, we've been together for five years now. You should know me by now. Well, yeah, I just think you should have told me that you was going to be over here. Look, I told you it slipped my mind. I mean, besides, you don't tell me where you're going every time. Because I'm a... Because I'm a man, okay? And you're a woman, and it's different. Well, yeah. I'm an adult. I'm an adult with the options to make choices. I thought I was your choice. And you are. Look, but that doesn't mean I'm not my own individual. Why, why are you acting like this? Acting like what? Huh? Acting like I love you? Or, or better yet, acting like I don't want to walk in the house and see my girlfriend dancing with her ex-boyfriend. No. You're acting controlling. Controlling? Yes, controlling. When you start you telling me... your voice. When you start telling me where I can go and, and when I can do something, I call that controlling, especially when I don't have a ring on this finger. You know what, Michelle, you just... Hey, man, I'm sorry I left you down here all alone. <laughs> oh, man, it's cool, man. You know, I'm going to get out of here, Dev, all right? Got to go wash some of this dirt off me. Hey, honey, how hey. are you? Oh. Baby, don't even worry about it. Listen, I was in the neighborhood, so I had my yeah. husband stop so I could make an appointment for next week. You know, I got that big show. I do, next week. Okay, yeah. let me take a look. And you're um, coming, right? You know I'm coming. Front row, front row, I got you. Front got row, you. definitely. <laughs> uh, Thursday, you good for Thursday? That's good, that's good. All right, All right baby, thank you. Mm, you're All welcome. Right. Have you. a good morning. Thank you, baby. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, uh, you know, I am so sorry. I'm still setting up, but if you would just have a seat, I will be with you in a moment. Can I get you coffee or anything? Oh, no, it's okay. Take your time. Okay. I'm guessing you're the owner? Yes, uh, I'm Tracy Malone. You are? Paula. Paula. You know, I don't remember seeing you around here. I mean, I don't know everyone, so forgive me, but uh, who's your stylist? I'm actually here to see you. Oh, I'm sorry. Who referred you? Um, no one referred me. I, I'm really looking for your husband, Devin Malone. <laughs> my husband? What, what do you want with my husband? I really don't know how to say this, so I'm just going to say it. Seven years ago, I had a little girl. And, well, your husband, Devin, he's the father. No, I, I think you're mistaken, because Devin and I, we've been married for eight years. Look, I, I know what you're thinking right now, and this is absolutely not about money at all. Okay. Well, then what, what is this about? Because if it's about money, then you can get in line behind everyone else that we owe. Okay, we don't have anything. It's all about my daughter and her alone. Right. It's about your daughter. Then, then why here? Why now? Because my daughter has a right to know who her father is. And Devin should know that he's got a little girl living and breathing in this world. Look, I am not after your husband at all, so please don't worry. Right, well, why should you be? Because according to you, you've already had him, right? Look, I'm married, and my husband, Ed, has loved my little girl and raised her as his own. But she's not his. She's Devin's. So you say. And so it is. Look, before I even had enough courage to even tell him what had happened, he had already left the league by then. And one day I was reading the paper and there was a follow-up story and that's how I was able to find you. Trust me, this is not easy. Not easy for you? Not easy, for, not easy for me. This is my husband that we're talking about. And in case you haven't read in the tabloids, which, you know, I'm sure you have, I'm three months pregnant with our first child. So just get ready for the DNA test, honey, because I guarantee you, you've tried this on other men. I deserve that. Yeah, that's not quite what you deserve. Waiting seven years? Who does that? Because I didn't want to ruin a happy home off a mistake that he and I had made. This was a one night stand that happened before my marriage. And to this day, these pressuring issues still come up about it. Pressure and issues. Imagine what's gonna do in my life never understand how you can sleep with another woman's husband or what is going through your mind that makes you feel justified in that really we can go back and forth all day and all night but the fact of the matter is is there is a child involved and since jasmine is the only innocent thing involved i really think my focus and her father's focus should really be on her I'm sorry did you just say her name is jasmine yes I'm sorry. Yeah, you are. I'd really like you to leave now. Everybody have a key to this place. <laughs> you real silly, Dad. What you talking about, Charlie? <laughs> Guess what I did been doing for the last two hours, Daniel? What? Looking for a billfold that was not lost. <laughs> I realized what you did. You took my billfold out my loan pass, switched my tickets around, did you? Gave me two tickets to two different shows. One saying. on the east side, brother. <laughs> one on the west side. So you could buy yourself. Two more hours of freaky time. I'm going to pick you up at 8 o'clock, wait at the corner. I walked all the way here. <laughs> I'm just trying to spend a little time with my wife. You know what? I don't care about that. How about I slap you in the face in front of your wife? How about I put my foot up in your... Hey, you want to... Hey, come on. Oh, just come Lord. on up here. Dad, I dare you, I I dare you for that cross that this line, brother. Oh, come Lord, on. Go. Look at him. He need help. Help him. Oh. He need a nurse. Oh. Come on. Come on, brother. 
cross this line and see what I do to you. Mm -hmm. no. Now, what you gonna do? I wasn't talking about that line. You need to listen. I said this one. If you cross that one, I'm gonna kill you. Mm -hmm. You are so oh, hard. God, so gonna do? Foolish. Hey, huh? if I wasn't saved, come I ain't gonna do nothing. Y'all both too You better get out my your mom. Everyone, just right, shut up. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, oh no. What's the matter? Baby. Ma Mama, where's Devin? No, Mama, wait, I just I want to see okay? De I just want to see Devin. Mama, please. Uh oh, uh -oh. Tracy, I'm right here, sweetheart. What's wrong? <sighs> Who's Paula? Who? Who is Paula? Tracy, calm down. I don't know what or who you're talking about. I had a visitor at the salon today. Okay. Paula. Yeah, she said that seven years ago. She had a baby by you. <laughs> a baby? <laughs> Tracy, I don't have any children, except for the one we're about to have, babe. So you're saying you don't remember the name, Paula? No, I don't. Let me rephrase that question, then. In our eight-year marriage, did you sleep with anyone outside of our eight-year marriage? Yes, but it didn't mean anything. I mean, I, I don't even remember her name. Hey, guys, you think y'all could come to the theater and help me find my, yes. my wallet? Yeah, yeah, let's help you find your I wallet. I know I left it yeah, there. I know you left it somewhere, too. Come on. Baby, you have to believe oh. me. Why? You don't love me? Hmm? You didn't love me enough not to sleep with another woman. You didn't love me enough to protect yourself, to protect me. Tracy, I was young. I was just entering into the league. Oh. It just happened. It happened one time and one time Wait, only. That's, that's one time too many. So I'm not light enough for you? You got to sleep with a white woman, huh? Well, where was she, Devin? Where was she when I was helping you through school? Don't walk away from me. Where was she when I was keeping your deep, dark little secret, huh? Not once did I let it slip to the media or my family or my friends that the reason my man can't get a job outside the NFL is because he's illiterate. No, instead I'm here working my hands to the bone and for what? What is it for? Tracy, it was a long time ago. For you. For me, it's brand new. Okay, I was wrong. But what do you want me to do? Huh? If that kid is mine, and that's a big, big if, there's nothing I can do about it except try to handle my responsibility. She named the little girl Jasmine. That was supposed to be our baby's name. You just don't even get it. She got everything. She got it all. Everything that I thought I had to myself. Including my ideal husband, I guess, huh? Tracy, let What? Me... Don't so... even... Don't touch me. Don't... Okay, okay. I don't even want to look at you. Just go. Tracy. Tracy! I got the DNA test, and I, uh, I just wanted Devin, to say... just open it. What does it say? Positive. 99% positive. Tracy, can we at least talk about it? What do you want to talk about? Hmm? You want to talk about how you slept with another woman while we were married? 
that a good subject? No, maybe we could talk about if that wasn't pain enough. Now I gotta find out you got a kid by that woman? What do you wanna talk about? Please tell me. What do you have to say to me? You're right. I, I, I don't have anything to say except that I love you and I don't wanna lose you. Oh, I heard that one before. You know, Devin, we've been through a lot. And I don't think we're going to rebound from this one. Tracy, we are in our eighth year of marriage. That's a long time to just give up now. I mean, I know things are the way they are, but that doesn't change what we have and what we've created. For me, it does. Tracy, you just said that we've gone through a lot. And when things seem like they could get worse, we've always managed to push through it. I mean, we can get past this, baby. Wait, 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 we could get past this. We could get past this. Yeah, right? That is actually really funny. What's funny? You! You are funny! You're gonna stand there and tell me, let's get past this. You're the one who messed up. But you know what? You are really good at just getting past things. Tracy. What? Do you wanna talk about how you got past all the love and trust that we built to sleep with another woman? You were asking me to get past all of my emotions and my feelings and just, just accept it. Accept that you slept with another woman and had a baby by her. But you know what? We both know if the shoe was on the other foot, you would be putting your fists through walls, ranting and raving. No, no, you know what you'd be doing? You'd be out trying to find another woman to sleep with to ease the pain of your bruised ego. Tracy, that is not what I'm saying. What are you saying? What I am saying is that it happened a long time ago. I mean, I, I, I was young. I, I was naive. I... Tracy, when it happened, I felt so bad that I knew it could never, ever happen again. You just don't even get it, do you? Let me tell you about how a woman loves a man, Evan. A woman's love, that supersedes any dime he may or may not have in his pocket. That supersedes living conditions that she desires for herself and for her family. I went to work. I went grocery shopping. I cooked your meal. I served your meal. Then I cleaned up. Then I did the dishes, and I, I folded your clothes, I put them in the drawer, and then I went into a room, and I made you feel like the king that you desired to be, because I loved you. But you know what, honey? That wasn't just there. That was built on the fact that you love me, too. And I still do, and oh. that hasn't changed, and it never will. Oh, okay. I mean, you're right. If it was me, I probably wouldn't be able to take it. But Tracy, you have to understand that I was young. I had just gotten to the league and I got caught up. <sighs> okay, so what, you can't think for yourself? No, I can. I just got caught up and, 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 and for nothing more than that. And now that I'm in this situation, nobody else put me here. I put myself here. I did this all to myself. But now I'm in this situation. I have a responsibility to you, my wife, whom I love. And a responsibility to a child who deserves to know who her father is. Now, I'm not saying I have all the answers. But what I am saying is that if, if you're not in my life, then everything that I've worked for means absolutely nothing. Tracy, all I'm asking you to do is give me a chance to make this right. I'm sorry, I don't know that that's possible. I just need space, Devin. Space? Space. How much space are we talking as about? As much as I want. A week, a month. You know, maybe... Maybe permanent. What are you talking about? And Tracy, stop this. This kind of stress is not good for the baby. The baby? <gasps> yes. Our you know baby. what, honey? I don't think you need to worry about that. It doesn't really matter. What are you talking about? I'm saying I don't think I'm going to keep it. Tracy, don't, don't do this to me. You know what? Don't do you this to it. us. As far as I'm concerned, the damage is done. Tracy.
Remember that in high school? Yes, I do. That was crazy. Wow. So, so, so this is the shop, huh? Yep. I mean, are you sure you're okay with me dropping you off here? I mean, I, I could take you home. That does seem a little more appropriate. Well, let's just say I was glad you were perusing the neighborhood because who would think my car would break down the same time as my cell phone? It's crazy. <laughs> it can happen. It can happen. But you sure you're okay with me leaving you here? Yeah. I'm just going to use the landline and call Roger to come get me. <sighs> okay, I get it. I get it. He doesn't like me, does he? Well, let's just say you're not his favorite person. I made the mistake of telling him that we used to date, and now he thinks we're gonna have feelings for each other again. <laughs> well, if he knows you like I know you, he doesn't have anything to worry about, Michelle. We wouldn't do nothing like that. Well, I wish you'd tell Roger that. I mean, sometimes it feels like we don't even know each other. How long you two been dating? Oh, about five years. Whoa, five years, wow. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what? I mean, I mean, five years, that's just a long time, I mean. Phew. You and I wouldn't have lasted that long. Well, that's a thing to say. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it like that. I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying we wouldn't have lasted that long because by then, you'd have been my wife. <laughs> Stop playing. <laughs> You're just saying that. No, no. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm not saying it. Look, I've always recognized that trait in you, Michelle. I mean, not a lot of women have that. I mean, there's a lot of good-looking women, but they're not good for you. Well, that's funny you say that now that another man has me. Yeah, so where were those words at when, you know, you and I were dating? They were there, they were there. I was just too young to express it. You know, I didn't know how to express it. I mean, the truth is, when you and I separated, I've always tried to mimic what we had. So much that I married the wrong person. Really? Yeah, I was, I was a fool for trying to keep that relationship going. But I did, and what should have been a happily ever after ended up being me in a depression. Mm. So... What happened, Reggie? Well, what happened was I came home to an empty house and a note. Mm. The next time her and I had any conversation, it was in the form of a divorce. I mean, she left me for another guy, I mean, with no explanation. Can I ask you a question? How do you know when you're with the wrong person? Same way you know when you're with the right person. You just know it. Give me a second. Hey, hey there. Hey there. Don't hate that me, boy. I know they told you I've been asking about you. Yeah, they told me. I, I'm sorry, Dad. I just, I just been going through a lot. You've been going through so much you couldn't come say hi to your daddy? It's not that. It's just after going through the divorce, Mom had told me what the doctors said about your condition, and I didn't want to see you like that, like this. So let me tell you something. It's a part of life. Life ain't no bed of roses. You understand me? Yes, sir. You can't stop in the middle of life. You got to accept that. I have to accept it. You don't help nobody when you stop. You understand me? I, I know that, Dad, but I, I, I just feel like I'm losing. Losing what? Faith, Dad. Faith. I'm, ever since I was a little kid, you, you and Mommy, you told me prayer changes things. That's what I taught you? Yeah. That's what I believe. But, Dad, it didn't, it didn't seem to apply to me. I mean, Dad, I've had so many situations in my life that I needed help with, and I did just that. I mean, I prayed and I prayed every day until I couldn't pray no more. And you know what happened? I lost my wife. My dad's still on crutches. Dad, I lost my job. That's part of the reason why I can't travel the way I want to travel. That sounds like faith to me, boy. Dad, my faith's a little shaky right now. I mean, look at you. You've been on this Christian journey for as long as I can remember. I mean, I can think of a thousand people that deserve to be going through the same thing that you're going through right now, but they're walking around okay. So tell me, Daddy, what good does it do you, huh? Let me tell you something, boy. Come over here so I can see you. Come around here. Come around here. 
down here. Sit down. That's the difference between me and you. You go to God for what he can do for you. So what's wrong with that? You got to look to the hills, son, from which cometh your help. You understand? D Dad, I've searched and I've seen nothing. Then look again. Look again. You know why I serve God? Because of who he is. Not for what he can do for me. There ain't going to be times when, when trouble is all around you, son. And sometimes you got to close your eyes just to block out all the turmoil. You understand me? Yes, sir. But you keep on leaning on him. Even when you don't get no answers, you keep on leaning on him. You understand? Yes, sir. And you know what's going to happen? When everything and everybody else is gone, God's love is going to be right there for you. God never fails. You understand me? So you lean on him. This is the time you lean on him the most. You understand me? I got to go to the bathroom. I got this diaper. Thank you. I'll see you next Monday. All right. How you doing? <laughs> oh, it's good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Come here to see Tracy. Oh, really? Uh, she hasn't been here all day, and she's not answering her phone either. I know. I tried calling before I came. I thought she would be here already. Um, well, you can wait for her if you want. Mm. Or I could do it for you. Well, seeing that I am a little pressed for time, I think I'll take my chances. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. You know, I'll even do it in a chair so you can feel right at home. Oh, before. baby, you as sweet as you can be. <laughs> Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Call number 50. Ignore. Boyfriend problem? Oh, something like that. <laughs> Let's just say that uh, he's my boyfriend when he's with me. Hmm, so he's married. That's your problem right there. But I already know what you're going to say, all right? I'm wrong and the relationships like this don't work, right? Wrong. What I was going to say is that the problem is that you don't love yourself. No, see, that's not true. I mean, I protect myself. I mean, I'm the first one to say no commitments, no strings attached, no hurt feelings. <laughs> and no peace. <laughs> and when you finish, it's back to the same old feelings, being all alone and just waiting on the next... Miss Shirley, like, how long have you been married? 22 years. <laughs> That's a long time. Yes, it is. I have a great husband. And he's just, he's easy to love, honey. Oh, that's so good. You know, my mom used to love marriage. I mean, it's too bad, though. I mean, the longest marriage out of four marriages she had was three years. So I'm used to men coming in and out of the house and all of that, arguing, wondering if this door slam is going to be the end of that or this marriage. You know how that goes. Mm, honey, <laughs> Relationships as a whole are very challenging, not not just the ones your mother had. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I'm the one that had to sit on the other side of that wall listening to her beg every single man she was with to stay with her. More grief than it was worth if you asked me. So hey, I commend you and your relationship, but I'd rather keep dealing with these men the way that I'm used to dealing with them. Mm -hmm. Baby, if your mother is anything like you, I can already tell she's a very, very sweet lady. <laughs> Thank you. I wish sweet got you anywhere in this world, though. This world is just designed to prey on the weak nowadays. I mean, I love my mom, but I refuse to set myself up for all the pain and disappointment that she did. <sighs> you know what? You sound like a bunch of women out there. <laughs> Want to do the right thing? Just can't find the right person to do it with. Yeah. <laughs> and we all been there. Can I get an amen? <laughs> <laughs> amen on that. <laughs> but baby, you know, just, just trying to find the right fit is like mission impossible. Mm. That's why I stopped. <laughs> Honey, one day I just got tired of trying to make pieces fit together that never belonged together in the first place. Yeah. I mean, but when you think about it, though, there's no perfect people in this world. I mean, you're going to always run into somebody who has something about them that they don't like. You're right. There are no perfect people. Mm -hmm. But, baby, you know yourself better than anybody out there. So you have to determine the things that you're willing to accept, and then there are those deal breakers. 
<laughs> deal breakers. Deal breakers. You talk about it like it's some kind of negotiation or something. <laughs> Baby, it's called survival of the fittest. <laughs> right. Listen, honey, if, if he knock you upside your head, deal breaker. <laughs> if he got a wife, double deal breaker. <laughs> you ever been on the airplane? Yeah. Honey, the very first thing they tell you is do not try to save anybody until you're first in position to save yourself. Now, you playing second fiddle with another woman's husband tells me one thing. You have issues with loving yourself. Baby. Baby, when you love yourself, you don't let nobody just treat you any old kind of way. And when you love yourself, you determine how you deserve and desire to be loved. So when the wrong situation comes again, and it's going to come again, you don't have to accept it. You say to yourself, self, I love me better than that. Better than anything that has stopped you from being everything that God has called you to be. You see, I made up in my mind. I'm gonna tie for everything that the devil has stolen from me. As I look, as I look in the mirror, a broken woman I see. Broken down by the streets of life's journey. That broken woman is me. So I take me a little ride. Back down memory lane. The verbal and the physical abuse And all the trauma and the pain I had to flee from that crazy situation Cause it was driving me insane Now I'm packing up all of my broken pieces And a little bit of strength that remains Cause I love me Do I, have, do I have me a sister who will agree with me? It's time to come to your senses. It's time to face reality. I hear you, baby girls, when you say it. I just don't want to be lonely. But it's impossible to love somebody else when you don't even love yourself. It's time to the situation cause it's driving you insane come on and pack up all your broken pieces and all the strength that remains just pick up yourself
I really appreciate you doing my hair. I thought my daughter would be here. You don't have to thank me, Mrs. Peterson. <laughs> you are just like family. Good. Then that means I don't have to pay for it. Uh, of course you don't. That wasn't a question, baby. That was a statement. Hey, Miss Helen. <laughs> Miss Helen, what's wrong? <laughs> Is everything okay, Miss Helen? Yeah, I'll be all right. You heard about that little young thing I was dealing with? Yeah, oh. I heard he through the grapevine. Yes, baby. Well, he works across the street, and I don't want him to see me. Oh, he works over there at Walmart? Duh, I wish. He works over there at Chuck E. Cheese. He's a greeter. <laughs> Just how old is this baby? 22. Ooh! <laughs> see, that's your problem right there. You know... I got the perfect person for you. Uh, wait. Give me your number. I'm gonna fix you up. I don't even know you. Oh, Miss Helen, this is Vivian. Vivian, this is Miss Helen. It's Tracy's mom. Ah. <laughs> no, I guess, guess it won't hurt, huh? Girl? Well, do we got some swagger? Oh, yeah. You got plenty of swagger. Mm. So how's his body? <laughs> You'll never forget it. Oh. Come on, uh, let me walk you out. I'll tell you all about it. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Before you... oh, okay. Before you... <laughs> you know that swagger, you know? It's more like a, a sway. You know, <laughs> Bye, <swag>. y'all. <laughs> Bye. Michelle, baby, I'm glad that you're here. Well, why? What's wrong? Maybe it's not nothing that's wrong. It's what's right. It's what's right. Uh, okay, okay, tell All me. Right, Michelle. Remember the job that I was telling you about a couple of weeks ago, right? The one in Tampa? Yes, baby. They offered me the job. They offered me the job! I'm talking about double the pay, better benefits, and not to mention the weather is beautiful. Woo! <laughs> Michelle, you don't seem excited. I am, except I was thinking, uh, where does that leave me? Baby, I'm glad you asked. Because I feel like since everything is in place, there's no better time than to ask the question right now. Right here? Right here. Right now? Right now. Michelle, you know that I love you, right? Yes. And I know that you love me, right? <laughs> yes. Michelle, oh, baby, this is hard. This is hard. Oh. All right. Uh. Michelle. Will you? Yes! Ah! <laughs> Baby, you moved to Tampa with me? No! That's it? Yes. I want you to move to Tampa with me. It's plenty of salons that you can work at. Baby, and we can start a whole new life together. As what? As a couple. Aren't you excited? Well, I would be excited if I was moving in as your wife. I'm not moving in with you. Why not? Why should I? Because we love each other. Well, if we love each other, then there should be no other option than marriage. Come on, Michelle, we have plenty of time for that. I'll tell you what. How about we move in together first, and then we can see where it goes from there. Roger, you've been knowing me for five years now. <laughs> you should know by now. Hey, Michelle, I'm, I'm not saying that, okay? I did not say that. I'm just saying dating is one thing, but marriage, that's a whole nother animal. Oh. So you want me to leave my family? Oh, and then leave my friends? And move in with you, and then if we don't like it, then we're going to separate? Yes. What's wrong with that? For you, that might be all right. But for me, it's not going to work. I love you. Well, if you love me, why won't you just move to Tampa with me? Roger, I love you, but I love me first. I don't want to just be your temporary fix. Guess I'll just wait here till my husband finds me. Until your husband finds you? Are you serious? Michelle, you're starting to sound like every single and lonely woman in the church. Now, how many times do I have to tell you that the only thing that matters is that I love you and you love me? Yes! You've told me that before. But actions speak louder than words. Michelle, I am a good man. I am a good man and you know it. Okay, you're a good man. You have all the right attributes, but that doesn't make you a husband. So it's like that. <laughs> Goodbye, Roger.
Just a second. Hi. Can I come in for a minute? I just really want to talk to you. Well, sure. Come on in. Thanks. I mean, what, are you stalking me now? I just came to tell you that I understand how you're feeling. No. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm feeling. I thought about it, and I put myself in your shoes, and if the situation were reversed, this news wouldn't have sat well with me either. Yeah. I really wish there was a way that I could have presented the news to you differently. Yeah, well, I wish you didn't have news like this to present to anyone ever. You're right. And that's why I've decided to leave tomorrow. And um, here's my information. And that way you and Devin can decide when the time's right, okay? And Mrs. Malone, if I were ever to pass a message on to anyone, I would tell them to really think about the situation and to think how unfair it is to the significant other. And if there is a child involved, to think how unfair it is to that child. Honestly, you and Jasmine are the only innocent ones in this situation, and I'm truly sorry. You want to know something else that's unfair? I've been married for eight years. Eight years. During that eight years, I tried and I tried to get pregnant, have a baby for my husband. Do you know how many tears I shed because I couldn't do that? Have a baby with my husband. And then finally I got pregnant. That was the happiest day of my life. Because finally, I got life inside of me. Life produced by my husband and me. And then you came here, and with little words out of your mouth, you ripped out my heart. And you killed everything that having this child, being a mother, was supposed to be about for me. Tracy. No. Mrs. Malone, please. Please. Don't let the inequities of two adults pervert the beauty of children. When I found out I was pregnant with Jasmine, I almost put her up for adoption. And I'm so glad I didn't. Because she is the best blessing I could ever ask for. And when there are days that I think I can't even get through, all I have to do is just look at her. She gives me the strength to go on. What? What? Why, baby? I thought I told you to wait in the car. Yes, you did. I didn't want you to go to jail. You're not supposed to leave kids alone in the car. <laughs> You're absolutely right, honey. Who's that pretty lady? Honey, this is Mrs. Malone. Hi. Hi, I'm Jasmine. We're gonna get going now. You have my information. Okay, honey. I'm sorry. To... <sighs> Baby, you wanna talk about no, it? No, actually, I don't. Good. You listen, I'll talk. Oh, Mama. I... No, no, now I I Try to respect the fact that you're grown now. And Lord knows I do my best to mind my own business. But it's hard to stand by and watch your child make a mistake you know they're going to regret for the rest of their life. Mama, I didn't make the mistake, though. Okay, Devin made a mistake. Yes, 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 he did, baby. But he's faced up to it. And in my sight, he is trying, trying to do the right thing. Now, you got to forgive him. Or that thing, that hurt, that's deep inside you, that will be the very thing it will destroy the rest of your life. And that's really easy for you to say when you're standing over there on that side of the fence. I mean, have you ever had to be here and stand here on this side with Daddy? 
no, no, I haven't. No. Exactly. So, you know, you're sitting there telling me to forgive someone, but you don't know what it's like to have to forgive someone for something they did to hurt you. No, I haven't had the experience of having to deal with your daddy like that, no. Mm -mm. But I have had the experience of being the one who had to be forgiven. What are you talking about? I never told you this before, but before you and your brother, I, I was pregnant before. And back then, I didn't take very good care of myself. And one of the things I did was I smoked a lot. Oh, I smoked. Ooh, I smoked a whole lot. And even though the doctors told me it was no good for the baby, I just kept on smoking. I wouldn't put it down. Your daddy, he, oh, he's such a proud father, Daniel. He begged me, said, baby, please. But I wouldn't do it for nobody. I didn't care what to do what I wanted to do. So one night, I woke up to this, this really bad stomach ache. I thought I was going to die. Daniel got up, he rushed me to the hospital, but by the time we got there, I, uh, I miscarried, and uh, we lost it. And I had never heard a man cry like your daddy did that night at that hospital. I knew he's never going to forgive me for this. But he did. And he never ever stop loving me like he did when we first met. So when you commend me for dealing with your daddy while he's down, if that man lost complete use of his arms and legs, I would pick him up and put him up on my shoulders and I would carry him because I love him. I love him. Now you tell me, do you love Devin like that? Do you love him, huh? huh? You love yes, him? yes. Well, I love fight. Him. You fight. You fight for your marriage. You fight for your marriage. Because I've seen that man. He's more than sorry. You got to forgive him. You got to free him. You got to free him. I don't know how. I don't know how to do that. Just cry. Go on. Let it go. Leave it there. Give it to God. Leave it there. Leave it there. Please. Now, some days it's not going to be easy. Got to take it one day at a time. Some days are going to be easier than others. But when you get to that point, you just, you tell God that it is not mine, it's yours. Devin, Devin, wait. Um... I just, um, look, this isn't going to be easy, and you know what? It might take, like, a lot of time, but, no, I, I'm willing, if you're willing, to, to try and forgive you and move on. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how many tears we have to shed together. I'm gonna be there to wipe every one of them. This is not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. You're my wife. And I'm gonna be here as long as it takes to make you feel secure again. You hear me? I wanna show you something. without your brace, baby. Some doctors from the team flew in and they tested me and I passed the physical. What? Yep. Wow. They signed me back up. <laughs> That's great. They gave me a contract and it's, it's the minimum. But I'm okay with that because nothing, nothing compares to the news that you just told me. Baby, I love you. <laughs> Okay, now do a funny one. <laughs> it, was, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. 
Listen up, everybody. <laughs> just want to make a little announcement. I just want to thank everybody for coming. And I want to say, please, eat up and enjoy. Ooh, cheers. Right. It's a family. Mm, come in. Oh, Miss Helen. Hey, 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 hey. I thought you said you only date them young, Miss Helen. Mm. Oh, that was before I met your uncle. Well, it's no secret that I'm still a cougar. But, baby, after I met this little Stop thing... It. Stop it. Now I'm with a bobcat. <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> Ooh. Beautiful. Something up, but you look good. You know those songs. The pants come back in the style, you'll see me saying <laughs> Give me some skin. Oh, I'll get it. Hey, you want me to hold that? Hey, come in, come in. Hey, everyone. Um, uh, I'd like to introduce you to Devin's daughter, Jasmine. And, and this is her mother, Paula. I'm glad you came. Yeah. You guys, this, excuse me, I'm sorry. I, one more toast, if that's okay. Um, this is a really special time for us, and um, we wanted to spend that time with family and friends. And since, can I tell them? Since we already have a little Jasmine in our lives, we decided to name our baby Victoria because through this child, our victory arose. Well, y'all, come on in. You're family now. Come on in. Look here. God knows what he's doing. He don't make no mistakes. Keep your hand in God's hand. You walk together. Pray together. And trust me, victory will prevail. Now, let's get this party started. Ooh. Oh, shit. 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 Oh, shit